Hi guys. Um, first of all, let's introduce. That's the supervisor, Joey. Um, but um, the final part of the, uh, the, the solar install uh, are the batteries. And as you can see, I bought uh, two uh, six volt uh, golf batteries. These are also uh, just temporary because um, I will be installing uh, lithium batteries at a later time. Uh, there's too much going on with lithium right now, so I'll, uh, I'll try and wait as long as I can uh, since I'm not using the uh, van as an RV uh, too regularly yet. So, uh, and the two uh, six volt batteries uh, are more than sufficient uh, for what I'm doing the next, uh, next year or so. Um, I had a temporary battery just to check the system out, so I'll take that off. Some temporary cables. I'll put some new cables in. Uh, install the batteries and then uh, check out uh, how it all works. Say bye. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
use my pimper. All right there. Everything okay? You want to correct me? You have any ideas on how to do that? Huh? This one. Close the crimper first. And just that much that it's just holding the lug. Joey, that's down. There's no movement anymore. And then we'll look at the lug. And it just looks beautiful, solid. And that's, I hope, that shows on the camera. In my opinion, the biggest mistake may doing installations uh, solar installations is that there's not enough effort made on the connections of the cables both the lugs the type of uh, cable as well but certainly the connections how well the lugs are attached to the wire next step is the heat shrink my heat gun, the heat shrink. So we have to make a connection between the positive and the negative. These nuts on the batteries came in a package that said they needed a 120 pound torque. I got a torque wrench and I set it for 120 pounds. So now I got a 12 volt battery. So the next step is to connect both the negative as well as the positive to the bus bar. For that I need the lugs on the batteries and these lugs are uh, two gauge of course and 516 but I also got two lugs on the bus bar these are of course also two gauge but they are a quarter inch hole because they're really sized for the bus bars again this is a temporary setup so I leave the cables a little bit longer than uh, than absolutely necessary so we can adjust them on the on the final install uh, instead of buying a new cable have both uh, circuit breakers at the top disabled so there's nothing coming in from the solar cells. I also have to uh, fasten them to the floor so they can move in, in case of uh, some heavy braking or something. It's probably about one or two in the afternoon so we have a lot of power. The controller starts and what I see is 0.4 volts from the solar panels at 10.1 amps and into the batteries 13.9 volts at 16.3 amps. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys.
done a good job.